Uh, welcome to the Financial Institutions and Monetary Policy Subcommittee for the 118th Congress. This hearing is entitled Revamping and Revitalizing Banking in the 21st Century. Without objection, all members will have five legislative days within which to submit extraneous materials to the chair for inclusion in the record. I now recognize myself for five minutes to deliver an opening statement. Thank you to our witnesses for joining us today for the first hearing of the Financial Institutions and Monetary Policy Subcommittee in this session of Congress. Today's hearing will examine areas where banking regulations can be updated to align with existing and emerging technologies, barriers to entry for de novo banks, and impacts on competition in community banking, the current framework governing consumer data privacy, and transparency and accountability in bank regulation and supervision. For years, I've been raising the alarm and pushing for regulatory changes to address the crisis of de novo bank charters. According to the FDIC, only 60 new banks have been chartered in the past decade. In contrast, more than 2,000 banks were formed from 1990 to 2008. Obviously, this is a, a, a trend that we need to, to, to examine. In addition to fewer new banks, there's also been a growing trend of community banks merging, being acquired, or simply closing their doors, which has accelerated following the financial crisis. While low interest rates and a weak economy may have contributed to this decline over the past decade, we also know these trends are caused by a number of factors, including cost, compliance, and regulatory burden. Congress should be encouraged and should be, should be encouraging an economic and regulatory environment that allows community financial institutions to thrive, let alone survive. My bill, the Promoting Access to Capital in Underbanked Community Act, Communities Act, seeks to increase de novo bank formations through a reduction in burdensome initial capital requirements and restrictions. A bill sponsored by Representative Auchincloss directs the federal banking agencies to study and report to Congress on ways to promote the establishment of new banks and credit unions, including community development financial, uh, financial institutions, CDFIs, and minority financial institutions. These bills are steps toward identifying and addressing the challenges posed to the chartering of new financial institutions. The fact is, encouraging the establishment of de novo financial institutions will help fill the needs left by a drought of new community financial institutions, along with consolidation and closures over the past decade. Enabling new bank formation will increase banking options and competition to better serve families, small businesses, farms, and local communities. We will also be discussing bills sponsored by Representative Williams and Representative Foster that encourage coordination of state banking agencies and federal banking agencies in regulating and examining the activities of bank service companies and prevent the Financial Stability Oversight Council from voting to determine that a non-bank financial company will be supervised by the Federal Reserve without first considering alternatives. These bipartisan bills are first steps toward clearly demonstrating Congress's intent when it comes to transparency and accountability in financial regulation and supervision. Technology has fundamentally changed the way consumers participate in our financial system, both by improving access and inclusion. It has also increased the amount of sensitive data shared with service providers and the government. Our privacy laws, especially as they relate to consumers' financial data, must keep up. The financial services industry is already highly regulated with regard to consumer financial information disclosed under the Graham-Leach-Bliley Act. However, the ways in which consumer data is collected and disclosed has changed dramatically in the past 20 years, due primarily to the proliferation of new technologies that consumers interact with on a daily basis. It is time for Congress to update the protections in GLBA to bring our regulations into better alignment with existing and emerging technologies. The discussion draft we're discussing in this hearing is intended to modernize the graham leach bliley Act using a technology agnostic approach, put control back in the hands of the consumer, protect against the misuse or overuse of consumer non-public personal information, empower consumers by requiring privacy terms and conditions to be transparent and easily understandable, and provide a national standard for data privacy, thereby reducing compliance burdens and providing certainty to both consumers and entities that handle their financial data 
on a uniform basis nationwide. I look forward to continuing to work with my colleagues on this discussion draft to secure Americans' privacy without strangling innovation.